Hello everybody, today we will solve some AMC 8 problems in uh, 2023. Okay, let's start with the first question. So, the first question is kind of a simple one. It's talking about order of operations. So, as we know that uh, we are going to calculate parentheses first. We have two parentheses and then second parentheses. We are going to calculate inside the parentheses. Uh, so in the parenthesis, let's apply order of operations. We see multiplication, we see addition, we see multiplication and addition. And then as we know multiplication comes first. And then we are going to do addition in both of the uh, places. Uh, so 8 times 4 is 32 plus 2 minus less look at here let's do first uh, multiplication uh, 4 times uh, 2 is 8 8 plus 8 okay let's continue now we are going to uh, do uh, addition uh, in the parentheses 32 plus 2 is going to be 34 minus uh, 16 8, 8 plus uh, 8 16 the result is 18 the and the first answer is D and uh, let's continue with the uh, second question uh, we have a paper it's a square shaped so we are going to uh, fold it into two times okay and then after that, that one we are going to cut and then what kind of shape we are going to have for this one I have one paper, so I am going to uh, fold it into two. It's folded into two, and then now I am going to fold again. I fold it again, and then finally, this is the shape folded two times based on the instruction instruction we are going to let's um, mark a place to cut so it's kind of half half so then maybe we need to find a middle point and then this one is the half let's find the middle point as well and then what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, cut it. So I'm taking my scissor, scissors and then I'm going to cut from the place start from the place I marked and then let's continue okay I'm done and then this is going to be the final shape as you know as you see let me a little bit zoom out and then this is going to be the shape so based on this uh, experiment kind of we can understand that it's going to be the choice is going to be choice E let's continue with a third question third question we are going to plug in some values we are talking about uh, something called wind chill is a measure of how cold people feel when exposed to wind outside a good estimate for wind chill can be found using this calculation okay so there's a calculation where the temperature is measured in uh, degrees Fahrenheit and wind speed is measured mass per hour suppose the air temperature is 36 Fahrenheit and the wind speed is 18 mile per hour okay both uh, units are corres corresponding Fahrenheit Fahrenheit mile per hour mile per hour so this means we don't need to do any conversion which of the following is close closest to the approximate wind chill okay so we are going to plug in so 36 Fahrenheit let's do it one more time we are going to plug 36 s 
air temperature 36 Fahrenheit degrees and then for wind speed is going to be 18 mile per hour so okay so let's write everything again so I'm going to write just here so wind chill WC wind chill 36 minus 0, 0 0.7 times 18 okay so of course we need to do multiplication the first order of operation okay so when we find this one uh, 0 times 7 times 18 okay so 7 times 8 is going to be 54 okay 56 sorry 56 uh, 1 times 7 is 7 plus 5 is going to be 1 2 6 okay so the result is 12.6 okay when we uh, sorry um, the first one should be 36 36 minus uh, 12.6 this is wind chill okay the result is wind chill is going to be 23.4 and then the closest answer is 23 that's why we are going to choose option b i hope uh, you are enjoying the video okay in this uh, question is very nice i enjoyed this one a lot so let's read the instructions Okay, the numbers from 1 to 14 are arranged in a spiral pattern on a square grid beginning at the center. So we are starting from here and then we are going to continue from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. The first seven numbers have been entered until seven is, uh, it has been entered into the grid below. Consider the four numbers that will appear in the shaded squares here, here, here and here on the same diagonal as the number seven. How many of these four numbers are prime? Okay, so we will continue. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and so on. So I continued, this number is 19. I continued again. So 23 will come in this uh, grid, in this square. I will continue, so let me do one more time again so here 19 is 23 we are going to continue and then this one is going to be 39 let's continue it's going to be uh, this one is going to be 47 48 49 so let's write the numbers here again and we have 19 we have 23 and then we have 39 and then we have 47 how many of them are prime when we look at here 19 is a prime number 23 is a prime number 39 is not a prime number because it's divisible by uh, 3 and 13 because it's 3 times 13 and then 47 is a prime number which is only divisible by itself and one that's why uh, we have uh, three prime numbers which are 19 23 and then 47 okay let's continue with the next question okay question five let's read the instruction okay it's kind of proportion question a lake contains 250 trout along with a variety of other fish okay so okay we ha we have a lake we can draw it and then in the lake we have we know that 250 trout okay but there are other fish around when a marine biologist catches and releases a sample of 180 fish from a lake, 30 are identified, identified as trout. 
assume that the ratio of trout to the total number of fish is the same in both the sample and the lake. This means for uh, let me use this part. Uh, so for every 180 fish, so 30 trout. This means the number of or the ratio of trout to the to fish is 30 over 180. This means 1 over 6. For every 6 fish, one of them is trout. Okay, so and then we know that total number of uh, trouts are 250. Okay, so we know the ratio uh, 1, 6. Okay, this means uh, we are going to multiply this number of trouts by 6. Okay, one trout and then uh, we have five other fish uh, for one trout. This means uh, we need to multiply this number of trout by 6 and then we are going to find 1500. Okay, so uh, next question, question 6. Uh, so let's uh, read the question. The digits 2, 0, 2, 3 are placed in the expression below, one digit per box. What is the maximum possible value of the expression? Okay, so that and the, uh, what I need to do is I need to make uh, the number as big as po possible. So how can I make it? I can take uh, 3 as the base and then uh, 2 as the uh, power 3 squared. And then for the remaining ones, rather than using 0 squared, I need to use 0 to the power, sorry, 2 as the base and then 0 as the power because the result will be 0 here and then the result will be uh, 1 here. So, uh, okay, sorry, sorry. So I found that uh, I understand, I thought that this is a plus sign, but this is a multiplication sign, that's why uh, 9 times uh, uh, 1. Okay, so this means uh, I, I thought that this is a plus, that's why the result is going to be C. Uh, sorry, I took some of your time. Let's continue. Okay, this one uh, is a graph uh, question. Okay. And let's read the question first. A rectangle with size parallel to x axis. This is the rectangle itself, see? This is the rectangle itself, and then the sides are parallel to x-axis and then y-axis. This is the this is it. Okay, so okay, and then it's talking about the vertices. One of them is uh, located 15, uh, 3, x is 15, y is 3, and then the other one 16, uh, 5. So, and then a line is drawn through points 0, 0 from, from the origin and B, uh, 3.1, 3, 1. Okay, so it's going to be something like this. And then we will continue. Another line is drawn through points uh, C, 0, 10, and then D, uh, 2, 9. Okay, so it's going to be something like this. We will continue and then we will find how many points on the rectangle lie on at least one of the two lines. So when we continue, when actually when we, for example, if we continue this one, when we go 3x, we go uh, 1y because the slope is 1 over 3. Okay, so 1y, 3x, 1y, 3x. 1y, 3x, 3x, 1y, and then when we go there, okay, so it's going to be something like this, so it's going to be, just it's going to touch the corner, okay, it's going to cut 
this rectangle at one point uh, point. Okay, so let's continue this one, and then this is the slope, and then as you see, it uh, has a negative uh, slope value. Uh, this line has a negative uh, slope value one over two, uh, and then let's continue. Let's follow. Uh, when we go three un uh, two units uh, in x, we go one unit down. Okay, two units x and then one value for uh, y. Let's continue two one, two one, two one, two one. Let's continue two one and two one. Unfortunately, uh, our line doesn't intersect with the rectangle. So this means, so we have just one intersection. total intersection between our lines and then our rectangle the answer is going to be B okay so let's look at this question in this the last question in this video and then there are four people they are playing uh, a game ping pong each player competed against each other three players ex exactly twi twice Okay, so the, there are the recourse, uh, win or loss. Of course, if it's win, it's one. Uh, if it's loss, it's zero. For example, Lolo, Lola won five matches uh, and lost the fourth match. Okay, so let's look, look at Lola. Lola is here. Win, 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 lost, win, win. This means as uh, our instruction says, uh, Lola won five matches, one, two, three, four, five, and then lost the fourth match. Okay, we understand the concept. Okay, so uh, from now on, what we are going to say? So in the first game, Lola played with, uh, against Tia or Tio, uh, because Lola win, Lolo, won this means Tia and Tio lost okay so we are going to look if we have two one this means the remaining two will be zero I mean lost okay let's see one lost one this should be lost okay let's look at here one one lost lost the fourth should be lost okay the fourth game lost lost this means uh, win and then the other player should be the winning one won won lost and then this is going to be lost and then the last one uh, won lost lost and then this should be won okay zero 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 one zero one okay the answer is a zero 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 one zero one and then uh, this is the answer of our uh, eighth question.